Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Sony Pro Audio Files. My name is Andy Munitz, Product Manager for Sony's Professional Audio Division. And in this video, we'll go into the topic of channels and groups as it applies to both our UWPD and DWX wireless microphone series. Well, it should be obvious that wireless microphones are very useful tools, but to make sure that they operate at their best, it's important to know about frequency and group choices, not just the various menu selections that the wireless units offer. Although this topic can get a bit deep, it's really worth learning about, so get ready, because here we go. To start things off, it's important to know that, basically, many wireless mics operate in unused UHF TV channel spaces, not currently occupied by TV broadcast stations. And it's also worth mentioning that different cities have different TV stations occupying different channels. So having maximum flexibility in choosing the channels that your wireless mics will operate on in your own location is obviously important. As you can see in this chart, our Sony wireless mics operate in the range of UHF TV channels 14 all the way up to UHF TV channel 51. We then split this very large spectrum range into approximate thirds and offer our identical equipment packages in either a 14 system, which covers UHF TV 14 up through 25, a 30 package, which covers UHF TV channel 30 up through 41, and then a 42 system, which covers UHF TV 42 up through 51. It's also worth noting that channel 37 in the 30 package range is not available for use with wireless mics as it's reserved for radio astronomy. Now, within each of these TV channels, and again, each one is six megahertz wide, with our 125 kilohertz spacing between adjacent mic channels, we can fit 47 wireless microphone frequencies within that one TV channel. If you realize that each unit is capable of tuning in up to 72 megahertz of frequencies, we then split that large range into further thirds. For example, 30 to 33, 34 to 36, and 38 to 41. This helps with doing quick, clear channel scans, for example. And you can change between these frequency blocks via the menus in the units. So, having a quick look at the UWPD receiver's display, we can see the following. 00, zero refers to the current group, something we'll get into in a bit, followed by the UHF TV channel number, for example, 30 in this case, and then finally, one of the 47 possible wireless mic channels, in this case, 01. Within each of our units, you are able to scan for the best available frequency for use at any particular location. As the receiver or tuner's job is to look outward to bring in channels, it can do an excellent job at picking the best one for use, likely better and certainly faster than you could do manually. Even though the clear channel scanning procedure is specific to either our UWPD or DWX wireless series, the concept is the same, finding the quietest background noise frequency available for use at that particular location and time. Now, this topic of clear channel scanning leads directly into the concept of groups. You see, a group is nothing more than a database of frequencies that the receiver will scan through in looking for an available wireless mic channel. So the question is, why? Well, if you're a one-man band shooter and all that you care about is finding the best channel for your own wireless mic, you'd obviously like to look at the biggest selection of available channels to choose the best one from. And that's what group 00 is for. This is a frequency and group chart, which, by the way, comes on a CD-ROM with your wireless mics and is also available for download in the Resources tab of Wireless Mics on our sony.com slash proaudio website. Although this chart looks a bit complex, let's break it down. You'll see that this page is the channel listings for Group 00 for UHF TV channels 30 through 33. 
You'll also see that in this chart, there is 125 kilohertz spacing between adjacent channels. Because we're looking at group 00, this is a group that looks at all frequencies in the selected channel block. Again, in the case where you are intending to scan for only the one best channel, scanning all of these frequencies will give you the best result. And as you can see, within TV channel 30, there are 47 wireless mic channels listed, another 47 in TV channel 31, another 47 in 32, and also in 33. If you add all of these together, you get 188 channels. And when you scan in group 00, your receiver will scan through all 188 channels to find the channel without any or the least amount of background signal. But why other groups? Well, when you have multiple wireless systems, you want them all to work in the same location at the same time, without possibly interfering with each other. You see, there's something called intermodulation distortion, and that might be best to avoid. To protect against this possibility, your wireless receivers can be set to scan in various other groups, which are simply a selection of frequencies that are chosen mathematically, that are known to work together. On this page, you'll see listings for the various groups, 01 through 09. If we look a little more closely, you'll see that group 01 offers a selection of eight channels that are known to work together, and in this case have all frequencies from UHF TV channel 30. If your particular location or city has a TV channel already operating in TV channel 30, well, that wouldn't work. So then you might want to choose group 02, which offers another eight compatible channels, all made up within TV channel 31. And so on, with group 3 within TV channel 32, and another 8 in group 4 within TV channel 33. Your choice all depends on what frequencies are available for use in your location. By the way, there are a couple of methods I might suggest for finding out what TV channels or white spaces are available in your location. First, there are various websites that will list the available white spaces and even show if there are dedicated TV channels for use with wireless microphones in your specific location. Just search for white space frequencies. Additionally, you might simply set your wireless receiver to do a clear channel scan and then hit the plus button to look through the available channels in order of their quality. If you see many frequencies listed all belonging to a particular TV channel, chances are that that TV channel is open and available and might be good for setting up a group for multiple channel operation. Now, if you need at least 11 compatible channels at one time, you can use groups 5 through 8, which use some frequencies from each of two different TV channels. Depending on which channels are used by a TV station in your area, pick the appropriate group that uses your combination of open channels. And finally, if you need at least 16 different compatible channels, use Group 9. A scan in Group 9 will do a very fast scan of compatible frequencies from all four TV channels in your chosen block. By the way, these charts are for use with our UWPD series of wireless, or for when you want to use DWX in combination with UWPD systems. If you're using the DWX wireless series exclusively, you can use what are referred to as D groups, as seen in this chart, for example, D1 through D9. With the DWX series, we can fit 50% more channels inside of a given TV channel, so the number of compatible frequencies within a group is much higher. So, if you do need many channels operating at the same time, how do you set them up? Well, Simply choose a group based on open TV channel station availability and assign all receivers to that group. Scan on your first system and have it sync up with its transmitter. Then leave that transmitter turned on. Then start a scan on your second receiver and it will see and skip over the first transmitter's frequency you just set up. And then choose the next available one in the group and sync up that transmitter. Just continue this procedure until you've assigned all of your systems. 
you keep scrolling through the available groups in your receiver, you'll notice that it continues past group 9. And in this system, offers group 30, 31, 32, and 33 as well. These higher groups offer frequency selection with only a 25 kilohertz spacing between adjacent channels, not 125 kilohertz, and offers up to 231 assignable frequencies within a particular TV channel. You might want to use these groups if you need to be compatible with another manufacturer's wireless system, or if you are assigned a specific frequency by an RF coordinator at a large venue or event where there are lots of wireless mic systems in operation. You can select this group and then manually go to that specific frequency and then sync up your transmitter to match. Well, that's the channels and groups story. I know it's a bit complex and you might want to watch this video again. But once you understand this and the menu operation of your wireless system, you'll become its master and you'll be in total control of your audio. And that's a good thing. For most of you watching, though, you'll likely just set your system to auto-set, scan and sync up your transmitter, and away you go. Finally, if you'd like additional information on any of our Sony Pro Audio products, contact your Sony account manager, visit any of our dealers, or just visit us at sony.com/proaudio. And thanks for watching.